What's up? What's good? What's going on, family? So let's jump straight in and get the daily increase. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house. Very particular messages here on the Manjula Awakening for that ninth house. But even with that being said, these are general messages. So please just take whatever resonates for you and bless someone else with the rest. All right, family, let's see what's going on for us on this beautiful, beautiful moon day. Ooh, truth be told in the fate. Okay, message in a bottle. So I definitely feel like today you'll be receiving some truth and clarity in the form of a message. Possibly this could be a spiritual communication. This could be physical communication. We'll see. But whatever this is, this truth that is being revealed to you is fated. It reveals to you something about your fate. Um, I feel like that whatever this truth is, it brings in some major changes that allow you to take action so that you can progress forward, hun. That's really what I'm getting here. Let's see. All right. Let's see what's going on for my sex. Yes, looky here. I feel like that this is like something... Consciously, this is so that equilibrium can come in. Universal equilibrium, right? Is what I'm getting for him from this card. What these two cards are telling me is, one, you could be receiving communication from a Scorpio. doesn't necessarily have to. But there is this message in a bottle that something is regenerating. Yeah, look, what's, look where it is split to. Oh, well, come to the edge and mending. Wow. What's behind mending? Poised. I mean, I'm just saying, Sag, I don't know what this... Let's, let's dive in. Let's not assume too much on this daily increase. Definitely some type of truth being told. And I feel like that this allows the mask to fall off. And it allows new doors, new windows to open up for you. And it is... It's almost like... it let Like, whatever this truth is, it really lets love in. And you start to shine because of it. we got hearts and stars. So this could allow for some healing to take place on your heart as well. But let's see. Because 17 is the star card in its fate. So there's definitely some type of wish fulfillment energy coming in here. Let's see, Spirit. What's going on here for Sagittarius? What is the message to help Sagittarius increase their day? The Hierophant. The Four of Cups. The Knight of, uh, Knight of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. I don't know what's going on here, y'all said. Might need to do some housekeeping. Just organizing things. That could be something. I don't know. But let's move forward. So we have the Hierophant, the Four of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. And last but not least, wow, the Emperor. <laughs> Start in a major, end in a major, a court card in the challenge position. So here's the thing. Um, I feel like there is an opportunity to overcome some obstacles. I'm not, I, I mean, you know, I can't, I can't make this up. I can't. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Oh, look at me. Uh, the, this is the chariot card, guys. So I definitely am. Yeah. Ace of Swords. Absolutely. You're definitely coming. Like, this is an opportunity to come back together with possibly a Taurus sign or an Earth sign. Um, we also have Aries, the Knight of Cups, that is Pisces, Aquarius energy. This is definitely, um, I am curious to know why the Knight of Cups is in the challenging position here. Um, with the Two of Pentacles being in the way through the challenge position here, Sagittarius, I feel like that there is a potential for something to, like, 
as I, I feel like that the state of whatever's being mended, something is one sided. So there is some type of attunement, some type of balancing out that needs to happen here. There could be some sort of turmoil, some sort of conflict. This could have been something that, like, I don't know, this person could be have been pouring into this situation. Like, let's just say, because we're going to relate this to work, blessings, and love, right? So let's say that this is a boss. And let's say that this is a place of employment. Let's say that every week that you go to work, there's a new, there's a new responsibility for your pay to, for your job description. But there's no pay increase. And it gets to the point where everything in your job description is almost taking, it's, it's covering 59% of management's job. But you're not getting management pay and management is still getting the pay and you're still getting your front desk job pay. No increases. There's something like that where something has been unrequited, where someone has been carrying the bulk of the responsibility or it's always um, Sagittarius, go do this. Sagittarius, go do that. Sagittarius, go do this. But there's no, there's, there's, it's one sided. So the way through this is to really bring up and have a conversation about the response. Uh, like there has to be some sort of knowledge sharing. And that could be this truth be told because there is going to be some type of communication. And the way through this is to attune the way that you communicate with this person so that it's not just taking orders or taking on harsh criticism, but also um, taking like is either increasing your benefit or taking some sort of load off of you, too. You know what I'm saying? So there has to be some type of teamwork here. And I don't feel like there is teamwork, but there is the opportunity in this situation is to go from disharmony, arguing conflicts, lack of understanding, transform that energy, transmute that energy, attune that energy in, in, like, I don't necessarily feel like that you have to throw this away, but I do feel like that you go from disharmony into harmony. Okay. Uh, there, there, at least that's the opportunity here. Something's not working. Some The way that it's being done right now, it's not working. So the opportunity is to um, get a deeper understanding and transmute that energy, transform that energy so that you can have union. And so that the past actually, the past actually feeds in the future and not deprives, not dis uh, destroys the future. Okay. Um, but we have the emperor here for the likely outcome. So I feel like that the likely outcome here is there is like you do take on this leadership role. There is some type of forward movement for the greater good of your tribe, for your union, for your community, something or another like that is what I'm getting. All right, Sagittarius, if you're still with me at 826 in, we, I would appreciate that thumbs up down below. It does help circulate these messages. Um, as well as give your readers some feedback. But right now, we're going to jump in and see how this message relates to your money and career, your blessing. We will have a yes or no question, um, as well as find out how these five cards relate to your love message today. All right, Spirit. Guys, I know we have an, a lot of new subscribers, so this is our daily increase. Um, it just helps us get some guidance for tackling anything that may occur today or occur occur i know y'all like to play about my accent insurance job termination of employment job loss termination of employment debt paid you know um looking on the bright side of this i want you to, okay so I feel like that there could be someone that is losing their job or that is currently without job. Someone has already experienced job loss, job termination, or it is on the approach. Okay. Don't take that. Y'all, if you know you are secure in your place of employment, please don't take this. Okay. This is for some, you know who you are, who this is for. Okay. You're going to get unemployment and it is going to help you stay afloat. Okay. Um, 
also feel the need to tell Sagittarius that um, there could be a potential job for you in insurance, possibly claims. Um, there's an adventure coming up for you as it pertains to your career. You're going to have, it's going to require you to keep your head up. You're going to want to drop your head, but it's going to require you to keep your head up, Sagittarius, because where it seems like you're on the decline, it's really that the level that you're going to, it couldn't enter from where you, you couldn't enter the position from where you was at. So spirit did have to pull you down just so you could see the opening. Okay. Just so you could see the opening, but there is there are some um, where you're at in your job. It's unrequited. It is unrequited. And I feel like that I got a Sagittarius that might flat out tell somebody like they kept on piling on these assignments. And I got a Sagittarius that might flat out say, no, I quit. I need a pay raise or I quit. Or you tell it about something and they be like, mm, you got to go. You tell a boss, no, that's not part of your job description. And they like, you got to go. And so they may have you drop your hair, Sagittarius. But I do feel like that you will have insurance, oh, unemployment insurance. And that will help you stay afloat, okay? Yeah. Um, you're gonna. It's going to make you feel like that the, the bills are mount. Like, you're going to feel like that the bills are mounting. But the debt will be paid. Debt paid is what came to the table. Subconsciously, you're thinking about the debt. But the debt is going to be paid. Okay? Let's move forward into your blessing of the day, Sagittarius. Guys, I hope that these messages are finding you all in good health and in good spirits. Don't forget, guys, to be on the lookout for an announcement video. I was going to do it live last night. Um, but technical difficulties got in the way, so, uh, it will be released today. So keep a lookout for that. It won't be a very long video. Um, all right, Spirit, what is the blessing of the day here for Sagittarius? Thank you. What? Wow. Stability. I'm telling you, Sagittarius, the blessing of the day is that you're more stable than you realize. You are anchored. You are stable. You are protected. I'm telling you, you may lose your job and all you can think, or you may quit your job. They may fire you, whatever the case may be. You may be getting your freedom ticket is what we not the pink slip. We're going to call it the freedom ticket. You may be getting your freedom ticket from a place of employment today. Don't let that get you down. I feel like that this job was not giving you what you truly desired anyways or deserved. So I want you to know that you are protected. And the, your blessing of the day is that you are going to be stable. Like I said, I feel like even if you lose a job, there's some type of insurance money that's coming in for you. Could be unemployment insurance. It could be um, uh, money from an insurance wreck. Like you could have a uh, insurance from a wreck claim. I don't know. Either way it goes, it's going to help you pay off the debt. Don't let it get you down, okay? Don't let it get you down, Sag. Yeah, remain balanced. You're at, this is actually going to allow you to balance something out. Somebody's birthday could be December 16th, December 4th, and December 19th. Yes, take a chance. It's gonna you gotta roll the dice. Yes, it's you gotta take a chance. You gotta roll the dice. But Sagittarius, you are protected. You are protected, my love. Let's go ahead and get into the yes no portion. Spirit Sagittarius has a yes or no question. What is the answer? You know, with the Hierophant instability coming out here, guys, I do feel like that you're able to balance out what you considered a missed opportunity. And it is at, and you're actually able to take, like, the chances are increased. You know what I'm saying? Like, your chances of success are increased here. But I definitely feel like that you have, like, the higher thing is, like, 
leader of the church, leader, I call the Hierophant head of household as well. Um, it's like that energy. And I am feeling like that is the blessing. It's like you have the knowledge that you have to share is where you found your stability. It's going to bring you st your stability is what I just heard. Listen to your intuition, my God. Sagittarius, your intuition is actually going to lead you towards your stability. There is internal knowledge inside of you. There's knowledge inside of you that is going to help you balance out your stability. You have to be willing to take a chance. Listen to your intuition, okay? That's your blessing of the day. Wow. And the challenge with it is you could become too... Um, Ideal list, unrealistic. Thank you. Too unrealistic in it. So be mindful of that, okay? It does need just a tad bit of tuning. That was super quick. Meditation brings answers. Look for a sign. It is up to you. There are helpful people around Sagittarius. There's a need to remain positive, Spirit says. Let's get into the nitty gritty of the love. How does this message here on the board relate to Sagittarius' love life? Guys, I hope I didn't shortchange you all. This reading seems to be going by pretty fast today. Or I hope you don't feel shortchanged. I hope you feel fulfilled. This is a pretty short message today. What was that? Ooh, excuse me, Sag. I don't know. If somebody could have an addiction and fell on the floor, you may not be aware that someone is... Somebody, there's some type of codependency. Mm -hmm. let's, let's see. Spirit, what is the message of love? What is the love message that will help Sagittarius increase their day? I ain't been told to switch decks. Spirit said you ain't getting no increase from that. I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself. I know that only good awaits me at every turn. <laughs> um, definitely a spiritual connection. Um, there's a need to make sure um, in this con in this connection. I feel like the third. So today, um, there could be an energy of it being challenging. Mm-hmm. To stay dedicated to putting the effort into a, con a connection here. Um, it, it's like today you could feel the energy of just, yeah, no, this is not going to work. This is not going to, this is not going to turn out successful. And so you could have the energy of giving up on a connection today. Um, I feel like that there is going to, there is some type of inflow coming in. There is Things are going to be shifting here inside of this situation. However, Sagittarius, this is going to require balancing out within. And this is something that you, that you, you got to balance something out within. You can't over focus on something. This is a this is a very strong connection here that I feel like that you're gonna be like, fuck it, I'm done with it. Throw the towel in today. Yeah, because there is a lot of stress inside of this connection, but spirit is telling you that now, right now, the time inside of this connection is to share. 
talk, have some communication, say some truth, share some knowledge with this person. Let them know that you feel like that this is unrequited. Let them know that you feel like that you're the one constantly pouring into a situation or this is communication coming to you. Either way it goes, this communication has to take place so that y'all can get out of this drought, out of this. Because I definitely feel like that you're in a drought. But I feel like that you're in a drought mind state. If you can switch your mind to an abundant state of mind, I do feel like that things could shift to you. This person could be experiencing some type of financial issues, whether it be between individually financial issues or combined financial issues. But I also feel like that that's playing into this as well, Sagittarius. But I feel like that you're committed, you're focused on something that is unnecessary. And whatever this is that you're focused on and putting your attention on and that you're unnecessarily committed to, it's, it's preventing you from expanding. There is some stress about expanding this commitment, but you, it's like there's, you can't stress the expansion or you're going to get restriction. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a divine, a divine connection here, a spiritual connection for sure. And yeah, it requires you to be open to be in flow. Stop trying to control the flow of this commitment, Sagittarius. And I feel like that you'll see something. You'll see what's you'll see the faded parts of this connection, but it does require you to remain positive. And there is a compromise. Wow, compromise, forgiveness, trust, romance. There, it does require a compromise here inside of this situation. But I do feel like that if you can change your mind state to abundance, I do feel like or a positive mindset. I do feel like that things are going to shift because you and this person are going to be able to. Um, be more honest and vulnerable with one another that doesn't require it's like some right now someone in this connection feels like they're the only one is unrequited okay that's just the truth closing message All right, Archangel Michael, what is the closing message here for the sign of Sagittarius? The sun is rising. It is beautiful. I love doing my recordings right here. All right, Archangel Michael, what is the closing message here for the sign of Sagittarius? Thank you. It says, recognize the signs from above. You don't want to be too distracted to notice um, your divine guidance, okay, Sagittarius? Um, there's also this energy of staying the course, not giving up on something because it's getting bumpy. There's a need to learn from your experiences, okay? Stay the course here, Sag. Get your power back. Take your power back. I do feel like that you, this is that attuning energy where you've been either over giving in a situation to the point where they don't appreciate you anymore. They don't, they take you for granted. There's a need to claim back your power. You have forgotten what you're bringing to the table. You forgot that you possibly brought the fucking table. Okay, Saj? Yeah. And then embrace your life purpose. There goes my Jenny card. Hey, girl. Um, it says divine life purpose. The divine is guiding you towards your life purpose right now. Okay. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. So there is definitely a need to truly do go after your heart's desires. Okay. That was also the message from yesterday. Um, the. I don't know. It was it was the Sunday's daily in the Sunday version of the daily increase. Um, very powerful message. Go check it out because it really is speaking about it's time to do what your heart desires. It's time to do what go after your own dreams. All right, Sagittarius, I absolutely love you. And I hope that this message offered you the guidance that you need on your day. If this message was useful, um, we would appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace, love and light.